Hey there, I'm Natalia and I'm a beer sommelier and advanced Cicerone. I teach people about beer for a living because I believe that beer is simply too delicious to remain undiscovered and I want to help everyone find their favourite. Today we're going to talk about how to assess the taste of a beer. Believe it or not, this is only one of the four parts of the beer tasting process. For an overview of the full beer tasting process, check out this video here, then come on back to learn more about how to taste a beer and what we're tasting for. Before we get started, I've got a quick word to say on glassware. I always recommend using a stemmed glass that's easy to swirl, like a wine glass. And be sure to only fill your glass about one third the way full, because that leaves plenty of room in the glass to experience our beer's aroma. What has aroma got to do with taste? We only have five basic tastes, but we can pick up on thousands of different aromas, so it's actually the combination of the two, aroma plus taste, that gives us flavor. So it's important that we learn how to assess them both. This video here covers aroma, and we're just about to get started with a deep dive into beer's taste. So, why not grab a glass of beer and join me? Ready? Let's get started. Taste is a chemical sense that's perceived primarily on the tongue. We've each got between 2,000 and 8,000 taste buds across our tongue. Inside each taste bud is a cluster of sensory cells, and each cell is sensitive to a particular set of chemicals, giving us our five basic tastes. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami or savory. You may have seen an old map of the tongue that shows different areas of sensitivity for different tastes, but this has since been debunked. Different tastes are not mapped to distinct regions of the tongue. All tastes can be perceived across all parts of the tongue. And this is why it's so important that when tasting a beer, you take a big enough sip and give the liquid a slight swish once it's in the mouth, as this will help the beer reach all parts of the tongue during tasting. It's also important to swallow your beer, as flavor perception continues after swallowing, particularly for bitterness, which is an important component in most beers. And finally, after swallowing, be sure to keep your mouth closed and breathe out through your nose, as this actually gives us a new way to experience our beer's aroma. Breathing in through the nose is called orthonasal breathing, but as we breathe out after tasting, it's called retronasal breathing, and it allows us to experience some slightly different aromatics in the beer because the liquid has warmed slightly, and enzymes in the saliva have started to break down even more aromatic compounds. I'll quickly show you what the full beer tasting process looks like. Simply take a sip, give the liquid a slight swish, swallow, keep your mouth closed, and breathe out through your nose, like this. Remember, it's the combination of aroma plus taste that gives us flavor. And yes, we can find all five basic tastes in beer, but some are a little more common than others. Nearly all beers will have some sweetness from malted barley, the main sugar source that's used in brewing that also gives beer much of its color and flavor. But most of malt sugars are fermented by yeast, so a beer should really only taste sweet if there are any residual or unfermented sugars in the beer. Sweeter styles include milk stout, doppelbach, and scotch ales. In most beers, malt sweetness is balanced by bitterness, so let's talk about that taste next. Most beers contain some level of bitterness to balance out malt sweetness and provide a refreshing quality. Most of beer's bitter taste comes from the hop plant, which also provides some aroma and flavor. But in darker beers, some of the bitterness can also come from the dark malts that are used. Bitterness can take up to one minute to fully register on the palate, so beware that after that initial sip, bitterness can continue building. Also, bitterness is an acquired taste, so if you're not loving bitter beers at the moment, don't worry, you might in time. You may also be tempted to think that all beers are balanced towards bitterness because of the popularity of styles like Best Bitter, American Pale Ale, and IPA, but that's not the case. There are many styles that are malt-led, or that use sourness and not bitterness for balance. All beer is actually a moderately acidic drink, with a pH of 4.0 to 4.5 compared to pure water's neutral pH of 7 but some beers are even more acidic, with a pH of 3.4 to 3.9, and we perceive these beers to have a sour taste. This sour taste is found in beers that are part of the mixed fermentation family. This means that they're fermented not only by brewer's yeast, but also by wild yeast and bacteria. These organisms produce acid, which gives styles like the Berliner Weiss or Lambic their sour taste. A salty taste is only considered acceptable in one beer style, called a gosa. This style, originally from East Germany, was once considered a historical beer style, but it's had a real renaissance of late. It's thought that the initial brewing water from the Gosa River, after which the style was named, was slightly salty, so today the beer is brewed with a pinch of added sea salt. In the Gosa style, the salt should be noticeable, but it shouldn't taste overly salty. In other beers, a salty taste may not be detectable, but mineral salts in the brewing water can help the beer's other flavors taste richer and fuller. 
The Japanese word umami translates as deliciousness in English. This savory or meaty taste can be found in foods like oily fish, aged cheese, ripe tomatoes, seaweed, and more. And yes, it can be found in some beers, particularly well-aged bottle-conditioned beers. As these beers age, the yeast starts to break down, introducing a slightly meaty taste. This savory note should have a layer of complexity and complement the beer's other flavors. That said, the main tastes in beer are sweetness and bitterness, and our focus is on assessing the balance between the two. When tasting, remember to think back to your everyday flavor experiences. The bitterness in your morning cup of coffee or tea, or the sweetness and acidity in a glass of orange juice, for example. Thinking back to our everyday flavor experiences can help make us better beer tasters. For the final step in the beer tasting process, assessing our beer's mouthfeel or texture, check out this video here. Thanks for watching!